Okay, I just dug some kind of tag. I'm not really too sure what it is. Hopefully it's a dog tag. It looks really old. Uh, yep, this is Vancouver. Probably a dog tag. Let's see how old this sucker is. Uh, dog tags. See that? You guys seen this? Come on, focus. It's not wanting to focus. Sorry, guys. There it is. Vancouver 327 dog tax. I'm guessing the date is down below. Nothing on the back. Uh, give me a second see if I can clear that up for you. If not, you may have to just wait until the wrap up here. I don't want to damage it really if this is a, a really old one. Looks like 1940. Two? Yep, 1942. Pretty bitchin'. Alright, see you in the next hole, guys. Awesome. Just pulled out a. A Merc at about, I don't know, what is that? An inch? Inch and a half? Just barely. <sighs> Let's get a date on there. Looks like, uh, 1929. This dirt is really dry, like dusty. Probably shouldn't be digging in this guy's grass right now. It's just crumbling into powder when I dig into it. Let's see if I got a mint on there. Nope, no mint. But well, that's a nice looking coin. 1929. I'll take a 20s Merc. Excellent. I'll see you in the next hole, guys. Oh, it's been a very good sidewalk. I haven't even made it. I haven't even made it past one person's property. And I've already got that dog tag, a Merc, and now this giant Great Seal Eagle button. That's going to be just like the other two I've got. That's a uh, World War One era. Uh, brass back is going to have a back mark on there as well. Uh, can't really tell what it says yet. But uh, my guess is it's uh, Scoville something or other. Possibly. I don't know. I'll have to clean it up and I'll uh, let you know at the wrap up. Thanks. Alright guys, flipped over and doing the other side of the sidewalk, or the other side of the street, and just popped up something that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good indeed. Uh, I don't know, what do you think? Think that's real? Rang in like a penny. I'm guessing it's probably plated. Let's check it out. Ooh, it is pretty heavy. Hmm. It rang up awfully high though, which is odd. If that were real, you'd think it to be more of a mid-tone. Let's have a look in the inside here. Oh, it looks pretty good. I don't see any markings though, but that looks pretty good. It is nice and heavy too. Let me, uh, let me take a break here clean this up a little bit for you. Oh yeah, guys, that is real deal. Let me see if I can show you what it says on it here. That's so shiny. Come on. There. 14K Wed Lok. L-O-K. W-E-D dash L-O-K. My first 14 carat. Other two gold rings were 10, 10k. That's a big sucker too. That's got to be, I don't know, probably close to eight grams. I would guess. Excellent. I'll, uh, I'll have to weigh that one, and I'll show you guys at the wrap. -up. See you in the next one. All right. So I showed you guys earlier in, uh, in another one of my videos that there used to be these. Uh, uh, places on the curb strip for you to chain up your, your horse or your buggy or your you know whatever and this one actually has a horse chained up to it 
Isn't that the coolest thing ever? Somebody actually chained up a horse. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. How cute is that? It's puppy. With a dog bone in his mouth. <laughs> Dangly. <laughs> cool. Okay, so this is probably the smallest curb strip I've ever done. Tiny little thing. But I already got that dog pendant, that uh, Canadian dime, and I just pulled all this crap out of this one little hole. Got a cap gun, parts with hammer, that, whatever that is, a bottle cap. A little Tootsie toy and whatever the heck that thing is. I'll have it right here. I wasn't even gonna do the sidewalk strip, it's so small. But uh interesting. We'll see you in the next hole guys. Just pulled up a pocket knife. Pretty old and crusty. Half of it's missing. Cool, see you in the next hole guys. Alright, yeah, just pulled out some kind of a chain. I don't know what it is. If it's junk or silver, but it's not, uh, I mean, it's coming out pretty clean, and it is pretty heavy. It could be silver. Uh, no clasp, so probably won't have any markings. I'll have to test that one. It is rather heavy, though, and it was pretty deep down for being that clean. I'm thinking it's probably silver. Cool, I'll let you know at the wrap-up. Uh, just found a 1917 wheat penny. I believe it's a 1917. It's really worn. It took me a while to get the date off of it, but yeah, pretty sure it's 1917. Cool. Let's we'll see you in the next one. Okay, I just got a uh, coin ball. It's got something kind of shiny poking out of the. I'm not too sure if it's silver, but it certainly looks it. Uh, nickel size, maybe? Yeah, you can see the edge there. Kind of looks like it could be a silver nickel. But, uh, don't know. Let's get into it and see what it is. It rang up kind of low for a quarter. Yep, pretty sure that's going to be a war nickel. Got the S mint mark. Very nice condition. Let's see uh, what the year is. Man, this thing is caked. Get off of there. Well, that's gonna be too hard to get into that one. But, uh, definitely a war nickel. Nice condition, too. Silver. We'll, uh, let you know at the wrap up what that one is. Awesome, guys. Just got my fourth ever Silver Washington. Oh, just made it. A 64. <laughs> ring up just like a silver quarter and I was like oh I know it's gonna be one. Oh man I scratched the crap out of it dang I was not expecting a silver quarter I thought it was just gonna be trash <laughs> awesome alright see you in the next hole cool just found a button uh, tin back But it looks pretty fancy. I don't know what's on there. I didn't even bring my brush today. Sorry for the street noise. There's a big car show going on in town right now. Oops, I'm breaking the back of it. Alright, let's see what that is. Whoa. That is cool looking. Is that upside down? A little mushroom person. <laughs> Crazy. Alright, we'll see you in the next hole, guys. What would an iDig history video be without a Washington State tax token? Well, at least it's a nicer one. It should clean up really good. <laughs> Third for the week. Well, this must be the token yard because I just got it first. Got my uh, my Washington State tax token or whatever that thing is right over there, and then I just found a transit token, tiny tiny thing. It says 
good for one fair with the V on it. And my guess is the V stands for Vancouver, the city I'm in. Let's see what the other side says. Uh, something bus company, Vancouver bus company. That is super cool. My very first transit token. Awesome. See you in the next hole, guys. All right, here's a wrap up. Ended up with 566 in clad. Um, got a few oddball things here. Um, one of them is, I believe that's a skateboard wheel. And it had a big rusty bearing in there. That's how I found it. But I plucked that out of there since it was all crusty. Uh, one of those sprayer nozzles. Big strip of quarter ounce um, lead weights. Uh, pocket knife that I cleaned up. Uh, modern 30 out 6. Junk jewelry. A uh, little doggy. Uh, clip on earring. Kind of an older looking key. Kind of got some fancy on it. And uh, two modern keys. I uh, did get this thing. I think it's some kind of a scutcheon. Maybe for a doorbell or some kind of furniture. Trunk maybe. Brass, it's old, it's green. Uh, there's the dog tag, 1942. And the button. Cleaned up really nice. Uh, the back mark on it says Jewelers, or sorry, yeah, Jewelers Products Corp. Uh, from Providence, Rhode Island. And uh, that would date it to uh, around World War One. Uh, this one is not a mushroom, <laughs> even though it looked like kind of kind of looked like a little mushroom person. It's a J J T E, and the symbol is the national symbol for France. But uh, I don't know what the J T E means because that's not in the French symbol. Uh, I got this little button. There, it's just a uh, just a blazer button with a cool crown on it. This one's got a little, it's kind of like a flat button, but it's modern. At least it looks modern. There's no back marks, and then it's just a standard two-hole sewing button, but it's brass. I uh, did get a couple of toys. The little Tootsie. Still got all its wheels. A little junker, something or other. And the best finds, my 14 karat gold ring, my first 14 karat gold, W-E-D-L-O-K, the web, web lock. It's actually a, a pretty uh, sought after brand um, or marking, this is a vintage um, some of the ones that I seen going on eBay were upwards of $300 just because they were right from the turn of the century. Um, but I haven't gotten the weight off of it yet, so I'm gonna check the weight here with you. Turn on grams, 6.6 .6 grams. So that's a pretty good one. Uh, there's the quarter, it's just a 64 and I scratched the hell out of it. Uh, Denver Mark. Dime is a 29 Philadelphia. The nickel is a 43 San Francisco. And then just a 58. I thought, thought that was worth keeping. Bunch of uh, 50s and 40s wheats. Uh, I'm not sure how many exactly. Uh, 37D was kind of older, and then the 1917. Uh, I believe it's a Philadelphia, but it's really worn. I just love how green these old coins are. Uh, a couple of tax tokens. There's the uh, Vancouver Transit token. Super excited to get that. Uh, just a look at a um, arcade token. A couple Canadians, a penny, and a dime. And the chain, I found out, was actually marked. 
it's got links on each end and if you look at it you can see it says oh, I don't know if that's gonna work it says uh, sterling a ampersand Z and uh, let me get a wait on that one too because I'm kind of curious now Eight point eight grams of sterling. So awesome. Thanks for watching, guys.